What's going on everybody? Today I wanna just take a quick look at this chess set I got off Amazon. I will leave a link in the description. The price that I paid was about 55 to 60 bucks, something like that. Wasn't too bad compared to some of the other sets I've seen. And this added so much more detail basically compared to the reviews I saw online. And this is the box. Let's open it up and see what this is all about. I pretty much just learned how to play the game of chess. And since I've learned, I realize I can't I can't go back to checkers. I just can't. It's not the same. Oh, when you open it up, I could smell that fresh wood. Oh my, let me smell this. Oh my goodness, that smells so fresh and so new. Let's pay attention to all the details. Let's look at the back of it again where it folds at. You know this board folds open and it closes up keeping all the pieces on the inside. There's The gap is not really that big at all, but I can tell when this board was made, it was absolutely made with a certain level of love and detail. Look at that. This is the kind of board you wanna bring out to all the family game nights because you know people are going to be talking about this. The one thing I can say right now, just looking at it, I don't know about these latches right here. Hmm. I wish it was stiffer and I wish it went all the way up and kind of locked in place. So let's open this board up to see what it looks like. So let's take a look at all the usual suspects. We have our, our pawns. Let's take a look at these pawns. And you can just see all the details in it. The pawns are pretty lightweight. I wish they were a little heavier. they pretty lightweight. Not too bad. But what I'm enjoying is the detail now let's take a look at um, let's take a look at our rooks right here. Oh yeah, very nice. Okay, let's take a look at our bishops. Now you can tell that. When they handcrafted this, or when they made this, you know what I ha would have liked to see? Notice the uh, lighter bishop, or the lighter pieces, it has the dark details in it, like the dark ridges and stuff like that. It would have been nice to have like, on the darker pieces, the lighter details, the lighter highlights in those pieces. But I guess everything else has so much detail they didn't want to overdo it. Okay, now let's take a look at the queens. Here's our queens. I like what they did to this. They offset each color from the, at the top. And again, you can see all the look, all the little details. These part, these now these two queens has a decent amount of weight. I'm noticing that it has a decent amount of weight to it. I like that a lot. I like big heavy pieces. Okay, and here's the kings, baby. I like what they did to the kings. And the pieces don't feel so fragile where you like, oh my god, please don't touch. I don't want to break it. But you don't want no kids with some dirty hands to touch on these pieces because, you know, at the same time, it's a quality set. It's quality art. This is it's quality wood. And the whole time I'm showing you guys these pieces, I can smell the wood. It's just, it's just, it's just coming at me. I can smell that fresh wood. Let's take a look at the knights. Oh, here's our knights, baby. 
I mean, they really paid attention to all the details. Yes, they did. This is really, really nice. It's very inexpensive and it's really nice. I've seen some chess sets online that had nowhere near this amount of detail and cost twice the money that I paid for this set. This is really nice. The only thing I would say is when you do set it up, you know, just pay, like when you flip the board over, pay extra attention to this because you don't want this to, you know, slam down on the table. So you want to make sure that it's out, you know. I wonder if maybe I can modify this because I would like it if this went all the way up and kind of locked into place. You know what I'm saying? So that won't get in the way at no point. However, it's not so much of a nuisance that it's just gonna completely get in your way and mess up your game. They even paid attention to the little designs in this. Really nice chessboard. Really nice. For beginners and I believe professionals alike. So this is how the board looks all set up. Now it's set up, you could obviously tell this board, this is a game ready to be played. Like it just makes the game more interesting when you have all these details. Like if you look at the, the board, I mean, they really overly designed it. No, I won't say that because I like these designs. It makes it so unique and it makes it stand out. Look at this. Let me just spin the board around so you can see it from, from the other person's point of view as they're playing. And then you know what I like about it? Like toward the middle of it, you know, you know it folds right here, but you know, you can't press down on it. It's not wobbly, it's not doing none of that. It feels nice and smooth, you can feel that. You hear that? Nice, crispy, and nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. The only thing I can point to and say that I, I wish it was a little different, and that's the latches right here. So look, let me lift it up a little. You see what I mean? Like, even though they'll lay down, but look, that latch can go straight. Look at that, see that? So let me slide the board forward so I won't break the latch. So you got to be real careful with this part right here as you fold the board out and lay it lay it down. Let's get a little closer. Here's a queen, here's a king. Here's our two bishops. We got our two knights and we got the two rooks and then on the front line are the pawns. All right. Now today I won't be giving no chess lessons because again of course, I just learned how to play, so now I'm kind of feeling like, yeah, I'm that guy, but still. I mean, this game is just so fun. Now, with that being said, let me move this game to the side and let me show you the chess set that's been collecting dust. This is the one I used to have. When I learned how to play, I actually learned on this board. Now, it's just dusty. It's been laying around collecting just all dust because like it's really no comparison. Like let's lay this little glass board down. You can't really see the squares. It looks like it's just on a glass flap, but there are squares there. You see what I'm saying? You can see it now, but when you lay it down, you like, you scrambling trying to figure out how to move. Like there's just no comparison to this quality right here, let's move this to the side and bring this quality back up to the forefront. This is what we really wanna see, like the color, like immediately you see the color just popping and just jumping out at you. Like, like look how big and massive this board is. So, and then compared to this, you really can't compare that. So I would say if you got this chest, set right here you probably got it from the family dollar from walmart from target i don't know where you got that from but let's put that back on the shelf we're gonna get this cleaned up real nice and get it all polished up and 
we'll just let it collect some more dust after we get it polished up. Cause it's just up there for decorations. But if you got something like this up there, this is what we want to look at. Look at that. And see, like the sun hitting it just a certain way to really give you the full effect of this, this chest set. All the pieces move really well. All the pieces move really good. You know, I'm just sliding across. Now it is a, it's a little slippery. You know, it is a little slick when you think about it. Hmm. Let me just do a, you know, a move here and there. You know what I'm saying? We just gonna move that queen right up here. You know, I'm not trying to do nothing fancy. I'm just showing you how it looks. Now, now let me just do this for an example, just to show you what the board is like. Cause you can't feel this right now. You looking at it and you, you going off what I'm telling you. But what I'm telling you is you're going to love to play this game. It's going to animate chess for you and make you feel like you're on a video game, but you're in real time. But you can see it's got a little slickness to it. And that's because the felt pads on the bottom. So awesome board, everybody. Look, you can see that it's kind of slick. If you move it around like this, you can see, you know, you can see how slippery that is. Oh, we don't want to drop our pieces. But, you know, I'm just trying to show you all what that's like. Again, everybody, I love this chess set. I love this chess board. You can smell that fresh wood even while you're playing. Um, and again, I would say take a look at this chess uh, set. It's very inexpensive. It's very discouraging trying to play on something that's uh, not as entertaining and or as uh, premium as something like this. All right, everybody, I will talk to you in the next one. Until then, peace out.